Hey guys, what's going on? Jerry Agonese here. Uh, this week we're doing something new. We're gonna do a little bit of a head review on the new STX Dual 2. STX was nice enough to send the Face Off Academy a box of these for us to test out. I've, I actually got my hands on a couple prototypes this summer to screw around with. I've been using this head for a little bit and I'm looking forward to giving you guys a full breakdown uh, on what you can expect. First thing SDX did was they've adjusted the scoop. Uh, I think they've made a massive improvement. I'm not exactly sure what they're calling this, but they filled in the plastic in these holes up here from the Dual One, making this a much better scoop. I've been fortunate to use this uh, a couple prototypes over the summer. Uh, and I can tell you right now, the scoop is tenfold better than what we were originally working with. Um, feel free to go one-handed ground balls without being any worry of that hook that we were getting before uh, on the Dual One. They've also added a couple more uh, screw holes on the throat, which is great. Uh, you still have your two on the back like they had originally with the Dual One, but they've now added two more on the sides. Um, I know with some of the Dual Ones that I had, depending on the shaft, whether I was using a Warrior or Under Armour uh, stick, uh, sometimes I get a little bit of a rattle. Nothing that was ever too, too bad, but I know that drives some guys nuts. Well, still has the four bottom holes for, uh, for stringing, but they've added a lot more stringing holes on the side from the Dual One. Uh, also, the circles on this are different than the hexagonal, hexagon, rectangular, rectangular uh, sidewalls on the Dual One. Uh, same amount of holes up top. That was never really a big deal. Four seems pretty standard on most heads, that, at least that I've used. So SDX was cool enough to send me two prototypes in the summertime. This is the regular plastic prototype, and then I also have the. Endura plastic prototype. Um, as you can see, this is pretty beat up. I used it a ton this summer, taking reps with guys, lizards practices, and all that good stuff. Looking at this first, the production model, uh, as you can clearly see, the changes just from use. I will say I did not maintain this head very well. I didn't really keep a, a softball in it to keep it shape and all that stuff. I just literally took it out of the bag just to take reps and beat on it just to see the durability. Um, I will say I don't know if this plastic is the same as this. We're going to find out uh, as the review continues. Something to certainly make note that this could be a softer plastic, could be a harder plastic, we won't know. Um, but as you can see, this key hold pretty hard. And the main issue I have is that this is slanting up, as you can see. The bottom rail's popping out, which is actually good for guys that are worried about the ball getting stuck in their stick, that this bottom rail being beefed up, it's not keyholing as much, but the top rails are still thin, so you're getting that kind of peanut design. I'm sure this could be fixed very easily with uh, a softball, hockey puck, any sort of spreading apparatus that you need. One thing I definitely did not like was the throat. As you can see, this throat comes at a slant, making you have to slide, if you want your hand as close to the plastic as possible, you're gonna have to slide your elbow out, which is gonna promote some pretty bad mechanics. But if you just keep your hand a little bit off the plastic like so, you shouldn't have a problem, but I know some guys are gonna try and get as close to the plastic as possible. As face off guys, that is you know, a lot of guys nature. But if you are trying to get completely up to the plastic, it is gonna kick your elbow out a little bit, but we don't, definitely don't recommend that. So by having your hand off the plastic a little bit, you're gonna have, that, that same success. Now that this production model has all been strung up, we're gonna take this out for a little bit of a test drive. Full disclaimer, it is a little bit cold today, so the head wasn't popping back the way I would like, but we're just gonna check how this ball gets stuffed into the throat and see if there's any obstructions. No problem there, ball doesn't hit any of the top rail. It's nice and snug in the bottom of the throat, just the way the Dual One did as well, perfectly fine. Next, going to the pro hop, we want to make sure that the ball is completely covered when we're throwing our left hand out like that. As you can see, you can only see about 10% of the ball. Uh, does a really nice job of wrapping itself around the rock when it's stuffed into the throat. As you can see, the ball got a little bit stuck there. That was due to the sidewall just folding in. I didn't really pop it back out. As you can see on this back door exit here, ball comes out, no problem at all. So we're going to take another look at the pro hop at that back door exit. Um, as you can see, this top rail is going to knife down nicely over the top of the ball. Wraps around the ball very snugly. Barely any of the ball seen from a, a low angle perspective, as you guys can see. And then we're going to exit again out the back door, which is a difficult exit for most heads, as most heads spring back a little bit too hard and shoot the ball out, or heads don't spring back at all and the ball gets stuck. Here, the dual two is no problem. Ball comes right up, and I have no problem controlling the ball, directing it directly backwards, and securing the ball. And here's another angle so you can see how this top rail really knifes down over the ball and how the bottom strut really gives a lot of security when you're trying to crush that ball. A uh, little bit of face flex as well. Dual one guys will like that. I know I did. 
then switching it up to the standing neutral grip. Uh, normally guys, we don't really crush down on our pinch and pops this hard uh, when we're standing, but I just wanted to kind of add as much possible for the effect. Um, as you can see, no problem knifing down top of the ball and, and taking the ball along with you out the front standing as well. Now let's try going out the back door. Once again, that top strut really gives you a lot of security over the top of the ball. Uh, I don't even have it down that low in the throat. As you can see, that ball doesn't really rattle around a lot, switching out on that back door exit. No problem there. So on this next one here, the ball actually gets stuck in my stick. It's about 15 to 20 hard pro hops over the top of the ball. I'm pretty aggressive with that top rail. Um, no big deal, I'll just throw a hockey puck in here, but tomorrow I'm gonna hand this out to my uh, FO athletes and see what they have to say about it. I think the dual tool, dual two, is a big improvement over the last one. The scoop's phenomenal. Um, sidewalls are much improved. You can actually fight a 50/50 now. Uh, kind of knifes in there like the 2F, but uh, it keyholes way too fast. Um, so far, I like the dual two, not too much, but the only thing I don't like about it is the throat. It just when you put your hand on it, it just doesn't feel good. You know, it's angling the wrong direction. One thing I like about the dual two is that um, it pinches really nice around the ball and the throat is way stiffer and higher up so it creates the best flex point. And one thing I don't like is how fast it gets pinched.